What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, kicking off a brand new week with these new highlight players. So these are called Summer Tour players, and we're going to probably get a few more of these kind of club packs, right? So we do have, first up in this video, we are going to be taking a look at Bayern Munich. And we'll just do we'll just do a short video on it, and then we'll do the Inter Milan pack as well in its own video because I know there will be a couple of questions, right? So we've got a 96 Sané, 94 Pavard, 95 Delict, and 94 Lamar. So these guys are very, very strong players. I mean, the Inter pack isn't as good, I would say, but this Bayern pack is extremely strong and versatile and flexible in whatever way you want to talk about it, you can. Delict, I slept on him for months and months and months in eFootball 2022. But I'm definitely going to put him in the top five kind of like standard, non-epic, uh, non-legend centre-backs. He's an absolute phenomenal player. Yes, his acceleration is way lower than I would usually go for in my centre-backs. But I think with the way that the gameplay has gone, the way it has kind of changed a little bit is that you do need one really solid defender. Like that has just got really high defensive stats that doesn't need to worry about speed and acceleration. Thiago Silva is a beast as well. De Ligt is a beast. Ruben Diaz, all of those type of players. He's got interception, blocker, area superiority and acrobatic clearance. He also has heading, captaincy and fighting spirit with man marking and way to pass. He doesn't have sliding tackle. That's the only thing he doesn't have. And he doesn't have any other build-up stats such as one-touch pass or low lofted or anything like that, even though he does have weighted. He has unwavering. With the new season being back, that rating is going to not matter too much that it's on C, and the rest of these players are going to have the same thing, right? But when we actually go over to eFootball DB and we take a look at these new updated cards, let me just change this. I do really like this build, right? So he goes to 94 with this build, but all we've done is max out to defending pretty much. 12 into defending, 4 into aerial strength and, and uh, goalkeeper 1 stats, and then 2 into dexterity. You can put that anywhere you want. You can throw it into speed to get the stamina up. I would potentially actually do uh, that, right? You could throw it into dexterity. You're not going to have speed with the lick. He's not going to be kind of like a very mobile player. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Just stick somebody fast beside him as part of a back three. Uh, or else have as part of a back four. You know, have a really solid left or right uh, fullback, defensive fullback, whatever way you want to talk about it. Um, that's very mobile and very quick, you know, that you do get the acceleration and the speed there. Because it's not a massive issue once you're controlling the player. The lick will still be able to catch up in Mbappe compared to, you know, even Timber or Tommy Yasu. But when you are defending, when the players are defending, you will notice that if you've got a lot of slow defenders, your AI will leave gaps because they won't be able to cover as quickly. So that's just a little tip as well, right? But I do like this card. It's definitely one of the picks. If you look at how it compares, right? So this 85 rated Bayern Munich packet that was released a long time ago had 21 levels, but he had worse defensive awareness, a worse header. And that's enough for me to kind of think that this card is very, very strong, right? It's 18 levels. If you have missed out on a delict card, you can actually spin for these and clear the agent. So if you don't want to take a chance, you can actually spin for the 80 of these. It's going to guarantee you that with 400 coins, you're going to guarantee getting you know, one of these guys, right, and I do think that there's six really top cards in here that are probably worth the 800 anyway, if you're looking to spend a few coins that you've been sitting on, and you wanted to have contracted players that will last for the year, right, so we've also, we're also going to take a look at Pavard here, right, so Pavard is definitely one of my top players as well, uh, I'm not just saying that because he could potentially be moving to Manchester United, but he's got 29 levels, which is really, really nice for a card like this. He doesn't have blocker, but everything else is pretty decent for a defensive fullback, right? Now, the question will become whether you play Pavard as a centre-back or a right-back, right? I personally would play him centre-back. His speed, his lack of acceleration and balance as a right-back, including his dribbling. Yes, he's a good passer, and he does have some nice passing stats, but I do think that, you know, interception, area superiority and acrobatic clearance with man marking is pretty decent. If you can stick heading on him or blocker on him or both, this guy turns into an absolute machine. Like he's just got excellent player ID. He handles so well in the game, in my opinion. I do really, really like him. And I always judge a player that if they can go to like these two stats, right, when you're training up, if they can go into the 90s on defense and if they can go to 88 with jump, I think that you're on to a winner. Now, you can actually do that with this card, right? And you still have a couple of little points left over. He actually has, stat-wise, he's better than the Ligt. It's just that he doesn't play as dominantly as the Ligt, in my opinion. But you can see there that he has pretty much got everything covered. 88 jump, 81 physical contact. Speed and acceleration are over the 70 mark. And he's got 90s for the defense, right? He's also a great passer if you play him as a center-back. 
he actually is rated, this version of him here is rated as a 97 overall centre back. And we're not done with that either. I mean, we can still, you know, tack on a couple of bits and pieces to that if we want to go into the 90s with the jump. Uh, if we wanted to go that route, but we don't really need to. I would probably just boost up his acceleration just a little fraction. Um, and that's going to bring up his overall as a 98 center back, as you see there. So he's kind of similar to Tommy Yasu. So don't sleep on him. I know that he is down as a defensive full back, but I would definitely play him as a CB. We also have Lamer. This guy is, is it Limer or Limer? I think it's Limer. This guy is an absolute beast. And if you're looking for a really solid box to box, that's not Goretzka. Uh, I do feel like that this guy is definitely up there as a center midfielder box to box with 30 levels to go. He's got everything. He's got interception, sliding tackle, fighting spirit, one touch pass, low lofted pass and unwavering form with long range shooting and gamesmanship and man marking. He doesn't have blocker, which you're not going to get blocker that often on a box to box anyway right but all we're going to be doing with this guy is turning him into pretty much an all-round machine 90 aggression he's going to be a defensive center box to box um 80 physical <coughs> physical contact excuse me we're going to have 88 speed and 94 stamina just for the time being or actually we can just pop that to 90 stamina there dexterity is actually going to go to 88 as well and then the passing is going to go to 78 now when i look at the passing here and i'm thinking this isn't a really dominant center midfielder because he's got no dribbling he's got no passing but he's got everything else pretty bang on, right? This is a defensive build of him. If I was going the other route, I would probably take this down to like 80, um, and then I would take this down to maybe 80 as well, uh, or sorry, 85, and then uh, I would put the rest into dribbling um, or else passing if you wanted to turn him into a beast, you know, attacking. But I genuinely feel that if you are using this guy, it is the first build with defense. That is my opinion. And then last but not least, we have the speedster Sané. So 26 levels to go with this guy as well. Very, very solid. I do like Sané. I haven't really used enough of him this year, to be honest, but I do like this card. I mean, again, he's got inconsistent form, which is the killer. And I think that's why a lot of people will probably be a little bit nervous about using him. Um, his standard card has inconsistent form as well because of a few injuries. Now, I'm going to say one thing, right? This guy's down as a prolific winger. This version of Sané, the whole player attacking midfielder, in my opinion is one of the best cars that they've ever released. It's absolutely insane. Like his passing, everything, even though his passing is only 77, his passing and movement is ridiculous as a whole player and a super sub. This version of him does not have super sub, okay? So he's got gamesmanship instead of super sub, but everything else is the same. So I do feel like this card is definitely worse than that one, but it's still a, fa a fairly solid card because you've got obviously got 26 levels to go so you can get this up pretty decent you can also get the speed up pretty decent the stamina is going to be a slight concern even on this card it's only 76 so even if you go to 93 93 and 90 on that the same stats you're going to have only 71 uh stamina and 81 balance so you do have a hit on the stamina which is kind of a, a bit of a bit of a problem with this card but everything else is insane you've got your 88 dribbling for ball control dribbling and 87 type possession and then you can choose whether you want to have him as a passer or you want to have him as a shooter if you want you can still get both really nice stats in that i would probably go passing uh, as a prolific winger just to go 78 on the lofted and then to be honest with you lads i probably would throw the rest into dexterity to get that balance up as high as i can on this card i mean that's essentially what you're going to be using this card for anyway um is to be you know kind of like breaking the line and stuff like that so that is it for me lads i'll be back later it's a very big deep dive i know but i've tried to keep it short and sweet i know a lot of people will get questions about this next up we'll have the four interboys and i'll talk to you in a bit peace